Hello and welcome to the Country Rugby League Show. Paul Aradale, Jeff Stevenson back for another week and we've had a few more grand finals. Yeah, How good been, was it? been at them. You've been at one, I've been yeah. at one. It's been a grand final weekend for, for both of us and, and right around the state yeah. and the country. It's fantastic. Yep, uh, still a couple more to come. We'll tuck into them very shortly. Um, did you catch anything on Bar TV this weekend? Uh, yeah, I caught a little bit of the um, group, semi, group 7 semifinals. Yep. Um, they were pretty pretty tight games really like it was good quality games nice nice dry pitch down there mainly and uh yeah we'll talk about them in a sec but they're, they're fantastic i mean some of the grand finals are starting to end that'll be a yep. great one looking looking forward to in the next few weeks yep uh i was at the newcastle rugby league grand finals and it was a, a good atmosphere really um yeah. at, you know hunter stadium it's a big big stadium for for local footy but um i think from all reports um newcastle rugby league was happy with the turnout yeah yeah it's fantastic it's, it is a balancing act um, we talked about it off air before yeah. you know like that kind of go to the big stadium for the big grand final i'm always thinking from a player's perspective i always think of those guys that may never go on to play anything other than local and it yeah. might be their only grand final and they can tell their kids and grandkids one day look i played here yeah. and that would blow me away if, my yeah. grandfather told me up. <laughs> yeah. so he played at Hunter Stadium, probably because he didn't play rugby league. That yeah. would have been even yeah. more confusing. But, but no, I think it's good for for the, yeah. just the community and the club to say, "Look, here we are at the big show." You know. Okay, trivia or oh, not a trivia question? Right. You're in Canberra. Where would you rather play at uh, Bruce Stadium yeah. or at Seaford Oval? Oh, see, that's a tricky one because yeah. you could tell your grandkids either, and and you know if they had a bit of knowledge, yeah. they'd be impressed with both. Yeah. I yeah. just love Seaford Oval. It's got a really good atmosphere. It does. Yeah. There's something yeah. about that grandstand. It's got the glass in it or something. It sort of feels like yeah, yeah. British. Yeah, like yeah. In that that's, kind of... that's it. The yeah, old yeah. English style. Yeah, yeah I love it. Yeah. All right, we've crapped on enough. We'll get into some of the highlights from the weekend. And it was uh, Group 7 we'll go to first. It was the um, the minor and major semifinals. This one here at Kevin Walsh Field, Jamboree's home ground, ground. But Stingrays flew out of the box. Yeah. And, um, Jamboree, they end their season early. They've all have been prelims the last few years. Yeah, they've Super been pushing all year. Um, I guess it's the quality of the comp, isn't it? Yeah. Really, that Jamboree could not make it. Um, the Stingrays are fully deserving. Yeah, and they've um, got better and better every year, the Stingrays. They mm. were the easy beats here a few years back, but um, yeah, well done. Uh, not, like they're, not like they're buying a premier spring, I think they're just chipping away and building, yeah. building their base. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Jaden Harris picked up a hat trick in that. Look at the crowd here yeah. at Jerry Gong, Mick Crone on Oval. It's a beautiful, beautiful outlook as well as the crowd involved, the picket fencing. Fantastic. Yeah, Jerry Gong uh, led. Wirrilla lost a player late in the first half and lost another one in the second half. Bo Henry crossing there for a try. Um, and somehow Wirrilla, down to 11 men here. <laughs> Snatch the lead and take the game. Yeah. Uh, and move into the uh, Group 7 Grand Final. What a final way to do it. Fortnight. Yeah. And I mean, if anything suggests it's Marilla's year, it's the luck is on their side as well as some quality yeah. quality results throughout the year, you know? Well, I guess it just depends on those um, two players that sent off. Will they get uh, suspended? Yeah. Yeah. yeah or that... Can they do a Taylor May and. That's a factor, isn't it? Or a yeah. George, it'll be Taylor or George Burgess. It'll be yeah. one or the <laughs> yeah. other. We'll go down to Canberra now. It was the preliminary final at uh, Gungarland between Wadden Valley and Queanbeyan Blues. And Queanbeyan Blues just blew Wadden Valley off the park in the first half. It was very similar to the Blues display last week against Tuggeron. Wadden Valley was the last four. They want to forget September ever yeah, happened. Yeah, that's right. They, were, they had such a shot. And kind of, I guess, made us respectable. But, you know, you would wonder if, if Queanbeyan didn't get away so early. Wadden would have been in, in right at the late. Like with yeah. a shot. Yeah, they scored a few late to, to make a game in the second half. But yeah, Blues just too, too far too away. Good. Matt yeah. Parsons got a double. Uh, Jake Butler Fleming how many, also. How many has Matt Parsons to... scored this year? I should look that uh, up. Like a gazillion? It's, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll look it up for next week, but it'd be, it'd yeah. be nigh on 30 or beyond, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I should know because yeah. I did the um, McIntyre medal presentations for him a few yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, so. I should have yeah. <laughs> asked when you were looking that yeah. up, yeah. Could be in the 20s, yeah. yeah. We'll get out of the Gold Coast. Gleason. It was the prelim final up there oh, at Pizzy Park, the home of the Burley Bears. And, and um, Jurgen got off to a, a great start. And I thought, well, here we go. Mm. We, we're uh, set for a Jurgen Southport grand final. But um, look at the time on the clock here. They're down by eight, Burley. First try here. They get back and you think right uh, game on yep. and then this is the winner here Chicken on the attack picked up oh. intercept 
for uh, Dante. And he looked, he had a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> there's intercepts and there's intercepts. He had to, like, actually, sometimes there's an intercept where the other, the opposition doesn't touch you. He yeah. actually had to work hard for that. Yeah, so Dante uh, Lucio scoring two tries. Um, that's not him who scored the winner. No, but, um, but still, geez. But, um, yeah, well done to Burley to fight back. The and crowd so, would have gone wild up there another, too for a finish like that. Yeah, another grand final for the Burley Bears yeah. in uh, the A-grade Gold Coast competition. So uh, that'll be a cracker next week on Bar TV. Uh, yeah, that'll be one to watch. Yeah. We'll go to the Sunshine Coast. It was their grand final day up there. A massive day it goes into the night time. Maruchidor uh, got off to a good start, but beer were fought back. So this grand final was um, it was really close right mm. until the last minute. Bomb, bombs to fullbacks is still, no matter what grade, where you're playing, is still a thing at the moment. Yeah, it's a good try here in the corner. Uh, yep, uh, Maruchidor winning 26 to 16. Uh, tries to Corwell, Ellums, Messer, and Crawley. McLaughlin kicked three from three. For Biwa, it was Jennings, uh, Basico, and Hill got tries, kid two from two, but uh, well done to the Maruchi Door Swans. They've been pretty much, the, well, they are the top team yeah. all year. Yeah, and good on Beer for putting up a pretty good fight. Yeah, minor and major premiers, the Swans. Mm. And uh, this front rower, he had a blinder all year. Every week, I think he was setting up tries. Yeah, that's year, right. Can, can, can pass. Yeah, mm. so well done to the Maruchi Door Swans, Sunshine Coast mm. uh, champions for 2022. Fantastic. Massive crowd there, too. It's fantastic yeah. to see. We'll go to uh, Newcastle Rugby League Grand Final 2 now. It was Maitland Piggers uh, against Macquarie. And uh, the Piggers were just awesome. They were yeah, yeah, hot. yeah. Uh, Brock Lamb, the former Knight, Rooster, Super League player, he picked up a double and kicked a bucket load of coals. Yeah. And um, Jaden Butterfield was uh, the best, or was the player on the ground, the best player on the ground. He, he had a baby the night before, so yes. he practiced his handling and then yeah. Yeah, did well the next day. And uh, Reed Alchin, um, he scored double as well. He, he had an outstanding game. It was, you just could not fault anyone from yeah. the Vickers, really. Yeah. Um, for, for Macquarie, it just wasn't their day. And, you know, I, I think I made mention in the call a couple of times that you know, they'd lost a few key players, Matt Moon and Baden Searle and, and mm. Bobby Tracy. But, um, yeah, I think even with those players in Maitland, would have still got the catch. Yeah, and there are some comps in some years where you say, look, the best team perform their best on Grand Final Day, yeah. you can't argue with that. It'd be one of yeah. those ones, I think. They're the best team pretty yeah. much all year. <laughs> Interesting in that uh, the ground uh, announcer when they lifted the trophy said Maitland Piggers are the premiers for 2024. Wow. So um, it'll be interesting to see. Maybe he's Nostradamus. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I've been asleep for a couple of years and we're actually Maybe. in 2024. Well, if, we, <laughs> if we can get someone who knows a good, like, under-the-table under the bookie... <laughs> Maybe we should just put a little bit... <laughs> yeah. Get on early, you know? <laughs> Maybe he knew something. If Look, someone will watch this back one day. Yeah. Like, oh, right. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. <laughs> how did they know? Watching in late 2024. Uh, so, um, yeah, in the other grades, I should have mentioned uh, reserve grade. The Northern Hawks won 20 to nil over West. So, well done to That's the Northern great. Hawks. And under 19s, that was an absolute ripper of a game. Oh. West 22-16 over Lakes. Uh, I should also mention the Sunshine Coast. Lower grades, Kalanja 20 to 16 in the women's. Division 2A, Coolum 24 4 over Biwa. Division 2B, Mary Valley 20 to 4 over Palmwoods. And the 18s was Maruchi Door 26 to 8 over Kiwana. Yeah, and, and worth mentioning too that reserve grade uh, Newcastle comp, uh, Denton Engineering Cup comp, um, Northern. Uh, Hawks are, are kind of they don't have a first yeah. grade team, so yeah. I, lo I love hearing that when you have a team that's just putting their reserves in and they do well. Yeah, I will uh, try and bid again to get into first grade next yeah, year. So yeah, we'll see what he's happens. hoping yeah. with that result will help a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, we'll go to we've got some Newcastle Hunter Rugby League uh, grand final highlights. Uh, we've got uh, Windale taking on University, and uh, University have been in a few grand finals, and once again they were bridesmaids. Although this was a good try. Yeah. Um, you can see the crowd, the Windale supporters on one side and you've got the uni at the other. It's a magnificent spectacle, the Newcastle Army Grand oh, It's Formals. fantastic. I was on the other field watching the other field. The two fields are running in tandem. Yeah. It's fantastic. You'll catch a glimpse um, in the highlight shortly, the big crowd, the other grounds. Too. Yeah. You can almost stand in one spot and if you turn one way, watch one game, <laughs> turn one way, watch yeah. the other. Yeah. It's just heaven. Yeah, you'll get a good glimpse here. Uh, Budgie Roy versus Hamilton Ducks um, here in the C-grade grand final. 
a good long range try here. And we're not too sure if Keith Senior, yeah. former Great Britain uh, yeah, Senior, yeah. has come out of retirement here and has put on the number two jersey for Budgie Roy. There he is, in. Yeah, try. We'll go through the results while that's playing for you. A grade, Dora Creek, 32 to 12 over Woodbury. B grade, Windale, 24 10 over Uni. C grade, Raymond Terrace, 32 to 8 over Awabakal. D grade South, Budgie Roy, 12 10 over Hamilton. D grade North, Dungog, 12 over Clarence Town Stroud, called the Clouds. The Clouds. Actually, yeah. had someone at the game say to me, Is that the best? They knew I liked a good mascot. Is yeah. that the best mascot you ever heard? It is. It's right up there. Clarence Town Stroud. Is that where yeah. the Glam Cloud yeah. Mac comes from? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty clever. I yeah, like they merged together this year because both t- towns couldn't get enough players yeah. for a men's senior. I think the women's, the ladies' league tag stayed separate. But, uh, yeah, the, the senior men. So it'll be interesting to see if they uh, stay together next year yeah. or if they try and... If not, can we know. just get something with their lo- the logo? I haven't seen it as magnificent. I'll whack we'll, we'll it on yeah. the screen now if I do find it. <laughs> yeah. You're looking at it now. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. And yeah. I, I, I look, I, I don't know. No matter where they split already, maybe they could be cloud one and cloud two. You know, yeah. don't, let's not get rid of that. Yeah, well, if they won, they would have been in cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, I like it. <laughs> But, yeah, fantastic day out there. Dora Creek winning A grade comfortably yeah. after undefeated. So if they couldn't, can't do the Clayton's Cup. I'll tell you what, I'd, I'd love to set a challenge. You know, Northern Hawks are playing in the reserve grade. They just won. Yeah. Dora Creek, you, you've been dominating yeah. A grade Newcastle Hunter now for yeah. a number of years. Yeah. Go and apply for the Newcastle reserve grade, do please. It. Do I, it. You know, I, I, I'm totally in yeah. support of it. They're, yeah. they're a good team. They've got a good base. Their fullback played really well. He got man of the match. Yeah. But their, their hooker, oh, my God. Like, he played out yeah. of his skin. That he would should, have been Chris Marlborough. Yes, it was, yeah. yeah. He should have played, Should have probably got man of the match. I don't know what the yeah. fullback's... Um, I don't know if he had photos of someone. But yeah. that's, I wouldn't suggest that. But but he they both probably vied for man of the match. And, yeah, just great support. They had a great support group there like yeah. when I say huge num- numbers well they're big numbers but they just were very organised and looked like a yeah. decent well run club yeah so I think that's two grand final wins out of three now for Dora Creek yeah. so, wow. and they're, like they're undefeated this year yeah. though I think last year they were pretty much undefeated when COVID struck yeah. the year before they won it no they got beat by Thornton oh, yeah, yeah okay. Thornton Beresfield yeah Taking a few players from uh, Woodbury's taking a few from Fort and Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. Two teams they seem to jump. Yeah, but no, but I like, agree. Let's yeah. let's push for it. That's the Country Rugby League show yeah. push. Get Dora Creek in reserve grade Newcastle, Newcastle Rugby, Rugby League. League. We're yeah. aiming our aspirations lowish. Yeah. We're not really aiming yeah. high, but get them in there. That's well, a great idea. Start. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know, but, but as far as campaigns go, we're going to yeah. yeah push for it. And look, I understand they're the benchmark of A grade Newcastle Hunter, mm. but uh, you know, obviously you want the other clubs to catch up, which mm. I don't think they're going to. And I just think it would be good for the game if Dora Creek just stepped up. I'd be curious just to even just see them play each other in a trial. Yeah. Just to see where things sit. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. It be, like, I'd love to know yeah. where A-grade Newcastle Hunter Rugby League sits with when it comes to the other comp nearby. Yeah. The neighbouring comp, I guess. Or the, yeah. 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 We'll go through these uh, ladies' results too. Ladies' league tag, A grade, University 12 10 over Central. Uni, they've been bridesmaids for a lot of years yeah. in the uh, league tag. So good. good to see them win. Well done to Uni. Apparently, there's still a few girls out celebrating, yeah. still in their university jersey. It's like <laughs> not, gear, so not well silly Sunday anymore no. when it's Tuesday. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fingal Bay 40 to 6 over Stroud in, in the B grade ladies' league tag. C grade, Morpeth, 16-4 to four over Awabical in mm. uh, Ladies League Tag C grade. Mm. We've still got more. That's why it's the biggest competition in the world, Newcastle yeah. Hunter Rugby League. Yeah. Women's A grades, uh, West, 16-4 to four over Central. And women's uh, tackle B grade, Lakes, 32-0 to nil over Tookley. And Lakes went through that year undefeated Again, as well. Again, see, yeah. another Clayton's Cup contender that yeah. we can't count yep. for some Clayton's Cup reason. No one's telling us the rules. Yeah. I'm doing in focus on... Well, Clayton next Cup. next week's show, we, we might give out our Clayton Clayton's Cup. Yes, yeah. definitely. Let's do it. Yeah. It's a great idea. Well, mate, they're uh, pretty much all the results on Bar TV from the weekend, mate. We'll uh, hit around the groups. Around the groups. Okay, I want to nod again like I'm going to do every week until this week uh, for the Snow River Bears oh. because their <laughs> reserve grade team went down to Bombala yep. uh, 24-14. I know people are busting to know about that. But credit again. 
a team that came in two years ago after 30 year hiatus and they've yeah. made a grand final. Yeah. So well, go and celebrate, have your silly Sundays down at the what's it, Banjo Patterson Inn Hotel. Oh, I think that's this major yeah. sponsor. It's still snowing down there. They yeah. could just literally just go up the fields and have a silly, silly Sunday up yeah. in the snow. Yeah. Don't yeah. eat the yellow snow. <laughs> um, Old Bar is going to be the host of the Group 3 Grand Final. Yeah. Which awesome. is. Um, not unusual, I guess, but, you know, there are lots of bigger grounds around, but they've won the rights to host it after winning on the weekend against Port City. Yep. Considered an upset, I think. I know Old Bart had a pretty good round. They've got a really good grand final shirt. Yeah. I'm going to hurry home, get my credit card out and try <laughs> to buy it. I don't know. I, I missed the hoodie last year. Uh, so they take on the winners of Port City versus Wingham next week. Yeah. So that's that was the one that was bumped back a week because of all the rain. Yep. So they will get it in. We're just a week in delay. We've got those results there. Uh, Wigan, oh. Wigan uh, tw- uh, 14 to 12 over Foster. Mm. And uh, yeah, 28 24 Old Bar over Port yeah, City. Yeah, they seem like cracker of a game. Um, Presence Cup's taking shape, but there are some curveballs that are I'm <laughs> still. We're only a week away yeah. from it kicking off, and they're already throwing things at us. So. Lovely. It's locked in four teams. That fourth team was Maitland, of course, that yep. won on the weekend. Forbes will play Maitland in the first round. I don't know yep. if it's just drawn out of a hat or there's some, I don't know, plan with that. Yep. And the Collies will play the Hills Bulls. Now, I talked about Luckout over last week. Yep. I talked about the urinal. I don't know whether everyone got a little bit cold <laughs> about that idea, but they're not going to play Leichhardt this week. Yeah. So I don't know what's happened there. So maybe might be double booked. That always happens and stuff. The Collies are playing the Hills at home. Yep. So that'll be an advantage, decent advantage. I'm assuming yeah. most people would suggest that the Ron Massey Cup teams are, and, and the New South Newcastle comp teams are maybe the two favourites to get in the final. Yeah, yeah. possibly. But the Collies are playing at home, so yeah. that might give them an advantage. From what I understand, Forbes are playing Maitland. I heard at Parks. Yes, that's what I, was, I, I don't know. <laughs> All the grounds at Forbes are booked out. I don't know. <laughs> but this was going to be at Leichhardt as well. Yeah. So it's gone from Leichhardt. Nah, can't play there. Forbes. Nah, forget about that. Let's just go to Parks. Yeah. It's, you may it's not even. Dunny do. It's not even, from what I understand, a geography like close to Maitland. Like it's not even no. like they were meeting halfway and playing, I oh, no, Tamworth or something. Yeah. I don't know. Like somewhere yeah. they could meet. Yeah. Anyway, that's what's happening. For sure. Yep. Parks, I guess, is true. But they're definitely, they're, that's the draw. And the winner definitely plays at Combank. Maybe, I don't know, we're televised. Anyway, yeah. Sunday week. So yeah. Sunday week, Combank, President's Cup will be done and dusted. But they're the four teams. And um, for anyone looking at, for an underdog, maybe if, if Forbes could knock over Maitland, that'll be interesting. Yeah. The colours are going to be interesting, like you yes. said last week. And the Collies, you know, if they can knock over Hills... Um, yeah. That'll be interesting as well. Yeah. Um, group nine grand final. This is just a little bit of a shout out for anyone out there that enjoys a day at Wagga and a couple of beers. Um, the group nine grand final is on this weekend. Yep. I don't even work out who the teams were playing. I was so consumed by <laughs> the deal. <laughs> there oh, there we are. <laughs> Gunda Guy and Young. Who cares? Don't watch the footy. <laughs> go there and. In the Southern Function Room box, um, Mac- McDonald Park's pretty new, so yep. it'll be a pretty good venue. For 700 bucks for the day, you can drink as much Carlton product as you want. 700. Yeah. With 30 mates. With 30 mates. Okay, now do the maths. Divide it, carry the yeah. two, whatever it is. It's about, I don't know, I have worked out about 20 odd dollars yeah. per person if you can get 30 mates together. But if you get 10 together, 70 bucks. Yeah. You get 15 together. Like, anyway. Yeah. I don't want to encourage, you know, we, you know always drink responsibly. Yeah. That's what we always say in this show. Yeah. Gamble, you know, how you wish, but drink responsibly. But for 700 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. I just think, look, sometimes you just want a bunch of mates to get together. Do it this weekend, you know. Well, even you, if might, you might have to uh, take the weekend off work. And uh, and then the rest of the week yeah. <laughs> to, to deal with the hangover. Yeah. Go down um, to the Rellos down at Wagga yeah, as an excuse. Yeah, so, well, so yeah. I, a lot of people do this for racing in some way, but if you're going to have some mates, like end of season trip, whatever, yeah. you know, your footy game, season's ended. That'd be a great idea. Yeah. You know, imagine that. Just get down to Wagga, stay in a caravan park, cause some grief, do a bit of a, you know, Todd Carney, get kicked out of Wagga, maybe never to <laughs> come back again. No, but, you know, at the very least, just have a few quiet beers. Yeah. You don't need to have many. Yeah. And support Group 9. It's all about supporting local rugby league for me. It's not about the, how, how available and cheap the alcohol is. Interesting the grand finals are at, at Wagga. Uh, Wagga's only got one representative on the whole oh, program. Uh, yeah, Wagga okay. Brothers. Yeah. In the ladies' league tag. Uh, kangaroos didn't make any. Well, that's what I find interesting about, like, say, old bar hosts, you know. Yeah. And, and, and other, I know each comp does it differently, but a lot of them go to the big 
Saxon, nearby yeah. stadium. I thought the Port Macquarie, it's a credit to the old bar one because Port City may be in the grand final, but yeah. but don't host, have the right to host. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah. How they yep. how they do it differently in every uh, in every area. But I guess for mine, I don't know for you, it's a bit of an in focusy kind of thing. If the if the fans enjoy the day, it doesn't really matter where it is. It's yeah. a grand final. Yeah. Like you tend to travel for grand finals. No one ever has a grand final in their backyard in any comp, really. Like like NRL, it's not like they're going to move it wherever the yeah yep. the like yep. played at Penrith. Um, but yeah, I think if the fans get like it seemed like on the weekend, everyone had a bloody good time, and they came from everywhere. They came from up north, south, east, west. Yeah, well done, awesome. Uh, yeah, that's my around the groups. Yep, uh, just a little little bit. Uh, Clint Greenshield, the former Cattle and Dragons uh, back, and played a couple of years with St George Illawarra too. Yeah, he's uh, signed on again as coach of Sawtell Panthers. So, nice. Um, that, that's good. That's a good little. Um, Bit of news for Sawtell. They're back. This is their first year back. I was going to say, yeah. They're in Nambucca are kind yeah. of back. And I, I don't know, like, the other one that was back was the Axemen. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just good that they're doing it a little bit differently, but yeah. sort of starting to build a little bit of, um, you know, some good coaching around some of the yeah. younger guys there. That's a great idea. And there seem to be a lot of captain coaches re-signing or signing at this time of year. I don't yeah. know if that's a bit of a thing. But a lot of them must be just ending their season and going, yep, yeah, we're going to re-sign you. I think... Yeah, well, yeah. Well, that's uh, apparently uh, with Maitland. They've signed a lot of their blokes on for next year too. Yeah, uh, Macquarie. I don't know they're the same as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, takes a bit on. of the silliness out of silly season. Yeah, but you don't yeah. have these people. Going, oh, look, I want to move here. I want to go there, and that kind of stuff. It's like, no, nah, look, we've sorted out most of our squad. We've sorted out our coach. Everyone go have a summer. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's it. Around the groups. Around the groups is done. All right, we'll uh, go through a few more results from. Around the groups, yeah, yeah, a um, bit of an extension. Um, what do we got here? Group sixteen. You said about the Snowy River Bears. Yeah, they, uh, went out uh, twenty four fourteen to Bombala. First mm. grade went to Bega Roosters twenty four fourteen over Tarthra. Mm. Uh, ladies league tag Bombala sixteen twelve over Tarthra, and the eighteens went to Batemans Bay twenty four six over Marimbula Pembula. Mm. So that was Group 16, done and dusted. Uh, you want uh, ten, uh, Northern Territory or keep reading? No, Northern Territory, I was just thinking about Group 16. It was, I can't remember the team that had won every year. It was uh, 02, like 02, 12 and 22. It wasn't, wasn't, it was, um, wasn't was it Eden? Eden? It was Eden, Eden wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, well, it's not going to happen this year, is it? No, no. That's a bugger. It's anyway, <laughs> we've just, just put a little ending to that yeah. story that started, I know, a couple of, a few episodes so ago that great. everyone's just forgot about. Yeah. Um, Northern Territory Grand Finals, we're doing a crackering, beautiful, it's probably another Grand Final I'd love to go to one day. Yeah. It'd be yeah. just so different. Um, Palmerston, very dominant club up there, won 12-8 to the North Sharks, yeah. cracker of a Grand Final. In A grade, B grade, Litchfield, another big club, won 26-18 against Palmerston, so that would have been a big clash. And the women's, the brothers, not, are they all yeah. big clubs up there, another big club? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They've all been around a long time. Yeah. It's like a very, very well-established comp. Uh, they won 26-12 against Palmerston. Does it seem odd to you that a women's team's called Brothers? No, yeah. I don't know. Brothers, bro, sisters. Yeah. I don't know, anyway. Yeah, I, I agree. I guess they wouldn't call them nuns. But the bro- that could be yeah. their mascot, the Brothers yeah. Sisters. Yeah. That could work. <laughs> My Brothers Sisters, yeah. Anyway. Townsville had their grand final, Herbert River 24-14 over Townsville Brothers. Um, we'll have a look at the Cairns. That's the uh, prelim this weekend. Brothers, Cairns Brothers v Ivanhoe. Not the Ivanhoe in New South Wales. No. Ivanhoe in Queensland, which brings us, we were just talking before yeah. about dual registration. I wonder how many players have signed for Ivanhoe in New South Wales and realised shit I've signed for Ivanhoe in Queensland. No, and I also love the idea of a really weird kind of trial match. Maybe we could have Ivanhoe play Ivanhoe. Yes. It'd be a cracker of a game. It would be. I reckon they'd be probably about the same standard, really. Yep. Yeah, that's our Ivanhoe. challenge cup. We Ivanhoe. can draw them out of the hat. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the winner of that game will take on Mossman Sharks in the uh, the grand final. And last week, Ivanhoe beat Innisfail 36-26 and Mossville had a big win, 58-16 to over Brothers. So, mm. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Cairns Rugby League. Yeah, big one. And Toowoomba, the grand final day is upon us at Toowoomba as well. Um, in A grade, the Waddles are playing Gatton. Yep. Which, um, and the, the, they've actually, the uh, Waddles and Gatton have, have featured right through the, the, the day. Waddles play Highfields in reserves. Uh, for the women's, Gatton play Newtown. Um, and in under-19s, Gatton play Highfields. So nice. A whole bunch of teams in there that will have a lot of fans there enjoying yeah. all three or yeah. four grades. 
Should be uh, yeah, good uh, Sunday. Uh, group four, uh, their prelim last week was uh, North's forty-four to eight eighteen at Avermore Re. So grand final this Sunday is going to be held at Dungowan Recreational Ground. Oh ah, yeah. Um, oh, I watched a grand final there back in two thousand and eight, Dungowan v Werris Creek. Yeah. And yeah, it's in my top three oh, games that I've wow, ever seen. Yeah. Cracker Jack. Yeah, sitting on the back of a lorry, a deck chair, barbecue like. The whole ground is surrounded by lorries and you know, people just on yeah, the air. It's just fantastic. an awesome atmosphere. Oh, that would be great. So, yeah, Dungowan, they'll host Norths in first grade. Uh, reserve grade, second grade is Maury and Dungowan. Tag is Norths v Dungowan. And under-18s is Farrah against Gunnada. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. well, that'll be a fantastic day out there. Yeah. And uh, as you said, Group 9 uh, grand finals also happening. First grade is Gundagai v Younger. The Gundagai undefeated, you talk yes, about? So, yes, so yeah. they, they are... If if if, if the <laughs> Clayton's Cup, all jokes aside, yeah, yeah. the legitimate Clayton's Cup, yeah. like they would qualify for it and they're undefeated at the moment. So yeah. if they win this, they... I know we talk about it next week. Yeah, the, the committee. The committee. The, the Clayton's Cup committee. Yep. Paul, myself, and, and you. The, the, <laughs> yeah, the, the, yes. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, they definitely qualify, yeah. They've had a crack of a year. Yeah, and the reserve grade too. Take on June E. So it's good to see June E. They, they struggled to get a first grade team yeah. this year and went back to just a reserve grade. So well done to them. Tamora and Brothers in Ladies League Tag. The under-18s, June E v Young. 16s, Brothers v Tumut. Yeah, and it's good to see their June E doing well in the under-18s because I know mm. from getting my head around these teams that are trying to get back into first grade, it's much easier to do it with some good yeah. juniors, you know, a good strong junior comp underneath that'll just pr- push those players back into first grade. Yeah. And almost forgot what's happening on Bar TV yeah, this weekend. Two grand finals, uh, the Gold Coast and Canberra. Uh, none in New South Wales on Bar TV. No, Very wow. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So Goldie kicks off. There's five games on the program. They kick off uh, 10.30 in the morning. So Southport play Mudgery Bar in uh, the 18s B. 18s A is Corumban and Narang. Now, Narang had a super hot 18s team last year. They yeah. made it again. Just wonder where all their uh, 18s... Where are they going? Yeah, where are they Beyond going? Beyond there. Yeah. Do, do they need to play first? Yes. Know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the 20s, it's Burley v. Helensvale. Doug Lip Cup is Southport Corumban. And in A grade, Southport v. Burley. Right, that's Saturday? Yes. Wow. So that, And uh, like an, uh, I love that twilighty grand final. Yeah, yep. Cracker Jack. At so Seabus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. That'll yeah. be a great, 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 great yeah. bunch of games. Yeah. And we've got Canberra on Sunday at Seaford Oval, uh, the home of uh, Canberra Rugby League. Kicks off with Ladies League tag at 9.15, uh, West Belconnen and Woden Valley. 19s at 10.40, Queanbeyan Blues and Gungahlin. Katrina Fenning Shield at 10 past 12, Yass and Woden Valley. Reserve grade at 1.40, Gungahlin v Queanbeyan Kangaroos. And first grade at 20 past 3, West Belconnen v Queanbeyan Blues. Yeah. <laughs> It's fantastic. Now, that is a day, for those who watch the other competitions, that yeah. is a day where there's no rugby league on anywhere else, on TV. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think we saw this time last year we were talking about that, that there is, there now the NRL's gone off and they do their, you know, yeah. semi-finals at night through the uh, earlier in this weekend. Sunday's free of rugby league completely, really. Yeah. So that'll be something to sit back and enjoy. Canberra's always uh, one to watch. Uh, I remember a few years ago, I think it was pre Covid, yeah. Uh, it was a couple of streakers. There oh, the like, wonderful! Yeah. So, so, did you have to pay a fine, or were you banned from the ground when you did it? Or I don't know. I think they just got a round of applause, <laughs> and we just play on. Yeah. For you, yeah, for, for me. <laughs> anyway, <Yeah. laughs> finally, well, yeah. you know, there was no, neither confirmed nor deny who it was, but <laughs> it'll be interesting because the Blues have got a uh, Campo Terry Campisi Junior. Yeah. This will probably be his last game. I'm certain he'll be selected for World Cup. Yeah. So this will be his probably last warm-up game for him. And in a couple of weeks' time, he'll be playing in a World Cup. Yeah. yeah there'll, like be a, there'll be a few others. I'll, I will look it up maybe for next week's episode. We'll look, do a bit of a World Cup wrap because um, they'll start naming squads soon. And there are a lot of contenders who play in rural and regional rugby. Yes. Day. Yep, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Well, mate, uh, that's it. Uh, we'll uh, go and uh, rest up, ice up, and get yeah. ready for the grand finals. It's a, it's literally like what do you say? Ten thirty start at Gold Coast Saturday and nine forty five start yeah. Sunday at Canberra. So you've got no excuses. Just to kick back, ignore the family, forget the lawn, and sit back and watch two great grand final we- uh, days. Yep. All right, Paul Arundel, Jeff Stevenson signing out. So we'll catch you next week on the CRL show. Yeah.